Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video we're going to talk all about sharpening. Now I'm going to demonstrate this in Lightroom, but it works almost exactly the same way as you would use it in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what sharpening exactly means to your photos. Alright, so we got this photo right here, and if we just go down to the Detail panel in Lightroom, you're going to see four options. You're going to see Amount, Radius, Detail, and Masking. So before we get started talking about uh, the actual amounts and the sliders and everything, uh, there's two little things over here that not a lot of people pay attention to. You have this little left arrow pointing down here, and when you click that arrow, you get a up-close one-by-one ratio of your photo that you can kind of move around and kind of get a loop view, if you would say. Uh, so you can see exactly what you're looking at. Uh, another another option here, if you don't want to use that, is uh, you see this little um, exclamation mark here. If you click that, it automatically zooms into your photo and you can move it around as well. So a lot of people like to see their values over here instead of that little screen, uh, like I do. I don't I don't ever use that little screen, but uh, some people might like to to see a loop view of that. So wanted to show you guys that. So now, but let's talk about the amounts here, the the sliders. So uh, the first slider is the amount slider. That's basically the intensity of your sharpening. Radius refers to the edges of your photo and it will look for, uh, let's say if you have a low radius like this is one, uh, a one radius, it will look for the edges and then uh, as you increase it, it will sharpen the pixels expanding from the edges. Um, this is kind of important when you're dealing with printing your photos and I'll show you that in just a second, um, but that's kind of what that means there. Detail brings up more detail in your photo, it's pretty self-explanatory. And masking is something that I'll show you here in just a little bit, uh, which allows you to selectively sharpen certain areas of your photo. So uh, what I do for the amount, let's just go and click here and uh, zoom in. So you can see as we're clicking the amount, we're, and you can see how you're getting a little bit of noise here. I'm, I'm all the way up to 150, which is the max. And you can see the difference between that. You can see it's kind of a... Um, you know, kind of a soft photo there, and you got a little bit of noise there. Uh, not too big, too big of a deal, but it's still something to look out for. Uh, so I usually try to keep mine around 75, 80, somewhere around there. If it's going to be a web photo, if it's just going to be posted on the web, try to keep it around there. Uh, radius, as you can see, when you when we opening this up here, it kind of gets a little crunchy around the edges, and that's not what you want to look for. Normally the radius I usually keep around 1 or 1 1.5. Uh, detail is something that I don't really play with a lot just because I usually get what I want out of the uh, amount and radius, but as you can see I'm increasing the detail and you're kind of getting a little bit more noise as well. Uh, I've found that when you increase the detail you will see start a little bit of noise, but you will also see a lot more noise in the shadows uh, or in the uh, you know unsharpened or the blurred f uh, parts of your photo and you kind of want to stay away from that. It doesn't look bad when you're zoomed out but when you zoom in uh, you can definitely tell that. So I'm going to decrease the, the detail here. Now the masking is not a, something a lot, a lot of people uh, use. It used to be called threshold and so what this does is it allows you to select the edges of your photo and sharpen only that. So if I just move the masking you, you can see how it kind of affects that there but what, what you really should do to see what it's doing is hold the Alt or Option key. So I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key and slide my photo over and you can see how it turns white. That means the whole photo is going to be sharpened and that's why it's set to zero. But as you move over you can start seeing the little black come back and the black parts are the areas of the photo that are not sharpened. So wherever you see white in the photo is where it's going to be sharpened. So this is really great on portraits because you want to sharpen the edges of the photo and not necessarily the skin. So as you can see, the skin of the photo of this person here is, is not really getting sharpened, but the edges around that are getting sharpened. So when I click off, you can see how this is kind of a sharp edge here and everything else is sharp except for the skin and you want to keep that uh, kind of like that. It's very very flattering when you're taking portrait photos. So that's just a quick intro of sharpening. Uh, one, I want, one thing I want to talk about real quick is uh, printing. Normally I found the best values for these if you're going to print and this works for a professional lab. It also works for just sending your photos to, uh, to a regular photo center. Is Usually I keep my amounts to 100 my radius to 1.5, my detail I'll keep pretty low, uh, maybe around uh, 9, 10, somewhere around there. And then my masking, I'll just kind of play with that to see what I want. Uh, if there's a lot of edges that I want to sharpen, I'll keep it up higher. Um, but normally I'll keep that 
pretty low depending on the subject. And so those values right there around around 100, 105 is kind of what I uh, choose for printing. That uh, I found that it works best. Uh, you'll get a very sharp photo uh, when you print it out. So uh, that's just one thing I wanted to discuss with you guys. Hope you enjoyed that quick little overview of sharpening in Adobe Lightroom. This also works in Photoshop as well. So uh, thank you guys for joining me in this video. This is Jordan for SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.